God. It's cold out there, so it is. Yeah, it is. We're up here. This is about. If I had to drink whiskey in a room, this would be pretty much ideally where I would be drinking. Nobody um, actually has to drink whiskey, but uh, it's a oh, good no, thing well, they do. It's a good yeah, it is, it's, a, it's a lovely room. Yeah. It's, it's a gorgeous room, all old books and stuff. Now, this, so, is, this is the this lake, lake for single estate. Um, so, let me. Gracias. Justin. So this, this was distilled 2019, uh, on the 12th of March 2019, from barley that was grown, that was harvested here in August 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, small batch malted in January 2019, still 12th of March, and it's been in bourbon for the first three months, then in these red wine casks for the remaining period. Mm -hmm. Slancher. Slancher. Wow, loads of big, big depth. Big, big depth of, of, of nose there. Big depth of nose. What does the man from Del Monte say? That's lovely. I think it is, but then Not your own it, babies yeah. are always beautiful. So it's it's uh, you do need outside corroboration. Well, I, I t I'll tell you what. I was at the 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 tasting in in Belfast uh, for Belfast Whiskey Week, and I tasted your spirit then. And I have to say, it is it's premium the whole way through. I'll tell you what that is. That has loads and loads and loads of flavour, lovely balance to it. Um, it's got cherry notes. Mm -hmm. uh, there is is uh, um, almost almost like uh, cherry liqueur notes to it. Um, lovely barley malt coming through mm -hmm. on it. Nice little touch. Nice, very subtle, very subtle touch of smoke coming through yeah. on it. Um, but don't be don't be confused and thinking that in any way this is this is like a peat at whiskey. It's not. It's it's almost like there's a background blanket of it just at the very bottom note that sort of lifts and in some way takes a little bit of the sweetness away, but contributes a little bit to the sweetness as well. Um, and it's it's very subtle, but the nose is the, the remarkable thing. Mm -hmm. Well, we thought that the, initially the nose is a bit light, and and that's why ten percent of it is was finished in a peated cast for one month. And I think that just that just brings out some of the other flavours, which it, which ne needed to be done. That is just uh -huh. on the nose. It comes all the way down. Almost there's a porridgey note to that. There's a really really sort of cereal malty porridge, porridge oats in the morning with cherry liqueur. Um, that l lovely lovely little touch of smoke all the way through. Uh, that that's a quality product. That's lovely. And it's three and a half years old. Um, I've tasted other three-year-old whiskies, and to me, this tastes far older than that. And that's this microclimate we have here. And I, I, I said this to you before. It's that lovely earthy note to it. That I don't know whether it's the terroir, whether it's the, 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 the how well it's been blended or whatever, but it's really coming through. That you've got this earthy almost dump like quality yeah. to it which which is it sounds off-putting but it's not it's a really really sort of unique flavor um that comes through on it and that's it's lovely 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 stuff um that's a real credit to you well done well thank done. you that's a superb now the bottle i have to touch on this this is a really interesting story um the bottle design this this shape of bottle um where did the inspiration come from this <laughs> This, this, this is this is quite quirky. This is really this, nice. It was a bottle that was given to my grandmother uh, on her wedding day in 1921, and <laughs> as children, this was the, 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 this was or, or this was always sitting around. If you see, it's got a glass stopper. Yeah. The glass stopper fused into the glass neck, and was never able to be opened. 
and there was a prize of probably about sixpence for anybody who was able to open it. Nobody ever was until about two months ago, we had a liberator fueled evening and uh, somebody came up with the idea of using a hairdryer. So the, we used the hairdryer, co we covered the, the, top, the, the glass stopper and got the neck to expand slightly with the, with the, the, with the high hairdryer heat. And finally we got it open. And actually the smell of the perfume is probably as it was in 1921. <laughs> Not lovely perfume, but it's uh, it's it's very musky, yeah, uh, but very fresh. Oh, I mean, you, absolutely. You, just so, so you took this bowl and and basically yeah, well, that was the, that was the idea. That was the idea for it, and uh, and basically we wanted to make it an experience to open the bottle. Yeah. So uh, uh, we wanted a sort of decanter style. Um, so I still had, had another bit of thought went into another it. Another bit of thought, another yeah. bit of uh, family history, if you like. We're very short of labels, which is why the sample <laughs> one doesn't have doesn't have one on it. So uh, this is, I assume, this is the barley. Yes. From which everything is yep. made. Um, so this is your your your, your laureate that you had. I know that was that's actually the Olympus. The Olympus first first year. First year. Um, so this is very rare. And even made up here. Yeah. So. Um, so this is your barley. This is this is the the whole concept of terroir, um, and we know that there's other uh, producers that are really focusing on this. Um, the microclimate down here, as you said earlier on, it's quite difficult to grow barley. It's not yeah. the ideal conditions for growing it. And also, we're much later than anybody else. And you're much Ours is always the latest <laughs> harvest in in Ireland, I think, pretty much. So that you you consider that is what carries all the way through into your glass. I don't know is the honest answer. But, I, don't, I haven't been able to compare. We haven't done side by side maturations to be able to to see whether one maturation is different mm -hmm. to the other. Uh, but as the, year goes for, as the years go forward, do you consider it that that's going to be your signature? Yes. That that will yeah. be the, the, the signature that will come through. But this will this will be only a third of our production. Mm -hmm. uh, because we can't grow, we don't grow enough barley here to yeah. to we can we can we can we can make a certain number of bottles, but not enough to make it a viable business. We want to continue the liberator oh, yeah, range yeah, of yeah. sourced whiskies as well, because we've got a lot of interesting ideas coming up on that, yeah. and a lot of interesting whisky laid down yeah. uh, from seven different distilleries. But the lake view is always going to be this. Yeah, and is there going to be an annual release every year, or is it going to be? If it depends on buying, <laughs> <laughs> really it does. Uh, uh, we don't have a lot and, and enough to lay down huge amounts of it yeah. for later releases. But I, 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 age is not. I'm not obsessed with age. Mm -hmm. um, this, th this to me tastes fantastic. It Three does. and a half years, absolutely. Um, and so we don't put an age statement on it. Uh, although we we're planning a uh, a four year old. Uh, birthday edition in some stage. So. You don't put an age statement on it, but it's not actually on this, but you have um, a QR code that goes on the, uh, there's, a, there's a little tag that yep. goes on it, yep. and it gives you all the information you want. Yeah, so and an actually there's a, neck, there's a neck tag, which, yeah. which tells you where it was where it was distilled. So although it, it distilled. doesn't have an age statement, it actually has more than that. It has all the information oh, you yeah. want about yeah. everything that you need to know about the estate, when it was grown, when it was distilled, yeah. who it was distilled by, what it was aged in, how long, it's all there. And the same as our Liberator yeah. range, we don't put an age statement on those because the 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 blend changes yeah. for every batch uh, and, uh, and the components change, so yeah. um, we don't put that on. No, well, I have to say that that's lovely. I, I, first time I tasted the, the stuff, I, I, I thought it was superb. The new make, he, he, I was fortunate enough to be sent up at one point, was superb in its own right, and I, th I think the quality of it just shines mm. through. Well, really Great goes. Northern were really good uh, for distilling it, and the late Brian Watts was was an absolute star. Um, the, uh, the first year we had 10 tonnes of barley, 5 tonnes malted, 5 tonnes unmalted, and they emptied two 30 ton silos <laughs> to take they distilled it separately for us yeah um and they have done all the way through don't quite know why they're why they're being so so careful with it but i'm very grateful to yeah. them for doing so and um, i think overall have been great northern and john Tilling um have been 
superb for the whole Irish yeah, whiskey industry. Absolutely. I mean, the amount of stuff that they supply to, to so many different people yeah. and the quality of it is superb too. And the and people say we're sourcing whiskey, we're just bottling somebody else's product. We're, I can, you've seen the work that goes into yeah. finishing, blending and bottling these. It's not, it's, it's, it's nowhere near the whiskey that comes out of Great Northern or wherever else it comes yeah. out of. Whether you like what we're doing or not, you can't argue that we're not actually making a difference to yeah. it. I mean, the, the, the thing is, uh, there's the whole romantic idea of, of whiskey, and then people, people love knowing all about the single malts and, and this, and it comes from one distillery and so on and so forth. I mean, you can quite easily put this down as a single malt because it's coming from a mm. distillery. Except it's a pot still. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But the, the we do say it. single pot yeah. still on the label. But but the, the, in, in terms of you can put it down as being a, a single malt or pot still or whatever from one but distillery. But Scott's the really good, good, good trick of convincing the world yeah. that, that good, good whiskey is single malt and 12 years old. Um, yeah, we're trying to convince people that <laughs> There is more to whiskey. There's more than to that. it than that. I, I, I saw a, uh, I read a newspaper article uh, a few weeks ago uh, that George Rowan Co., uh, back in the day, back in the 1860s, I think it was, were experimenting with just distilling with sugar. Right. And it said that it wasn't up to much because it tasted almost exactly, it tasted as pure as pure malt whiskey. <laughs> That's what they put down. Because they said that they, they were saying that pot still is so much superior to, to, to basically yeah. what we would call single malt. This this is the the, the new single estate stuff. And how many bottles did you say there was of this? Three hundred. Three hundred of these in total. In total. Mm -hmm. Um and this this is fantastic. I mean, it really, really is. This is bottle number ninety eight out of three hundred, um, which is coming home with me. And and you're, you're thinking, this is one hundred and ninety five euro. This is coming out of, uh, which for lots of people will say this is an expensive whiskey, and it is. It is if if you're going to drink it like a, a, a <laughs> if you're going to drink it like a bottle of, so we say entry level whiskey. That's that is expensive. But when you realise that it's there's not very, very many of it. The amount of work that has went into it, um, how it tastes, and it's fabulous. I mean, it really is. And the skill and the history and the heritage and the story, you're buying into this. This is not expensive. And to be honest, it's an, an initial release, and it's going to be more a collector's item than, uh, uh, for for the initial release. That's what And they basically, are. we want to get the collectors out of the way so yeah. that we can bring out a release that is priced for drinkers. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, uh, and yeah, so we haven't decided what that price is yet, but it's, it'll be well, we'll come, less than 195. Yeah, but so. I mean, it's going to be an affordable uh, premium whiskey. Yes, and that's what it's going yeah. to be, and that's what you're paying for. And, and more power to you. I, I think your range of stuff is superb. Uh, I think what you've been doing is superb. I think if you carry on doing exactly what it is you're doing, um, I, I, I don't see what, what's not to like. There's the sun out again. It is, of course, it is. Yeah. It was, it was four seasons in an hour, we say in <laughs> Well, it was absolutely bucketing down here earlier. I mean, it wasn't taking time to rain. Then the sun came out. Then it was blowing a gale there about ten minutes ago. Mm. Now the sun's back out again. And all the while, that whiskey's down in there going, right, what are we going to do? <laughs> and reacting to it. We've seen the chart. Um, Morris, I, lo I love what you're doing. I love who you are. You, you know I'm a big fan of your stuff. And, uh, I well, think... what, really, what really I appreciate is that you buy the whiskey oh, as well. I buy it it's, as well, yeah. It, I, mean, that, that, that. I am leaving here. By the way, folks, lots of people think I get all this stuff. Oh, where he goes and he gets all that stuff for free. I'm leaving. I come down to get a couple of bottles, which I paid for, and I'm going with more bottles. <laughs> But no, do you get yourself a uh, buy the, the Liberator stuff, buy the, the Lakeview Estate especially, because um, you'll not be disappointed. It's a superb product. And uh, thank you very much, Morris, for having us. A pleasure. And you managed to keep Justin quiet. Which is <laughs> yeah, I, I, just, I, I just wonder whether he's here at all. Just... Oh, no, he's here. <laughs> he's here. He killed my car, by the way, just so he can have a drink. Right, so we'll see you later, guys.